Hello, I'm Vinny. You're very welcome to my little channel. I've got me a Buck 110. This is a knife I have been looking at for quite a long time. It may be old hat to American and Canadian viewers who can get these at any Walmart or outdoor stores, but they are not readily available here in Ireland. I don't know of any shop or store that sells these. It's much easier to buy a knife when you can go to a store, pick it up, have a look and see what you think. As you see it comes with this nice well-made sheath. My first impression when I saw this knife was that it was a really beautiful knife. I'm just a simple country guy and to me it looks golden and shiny and warm and very beautiful. My second impression was that it's a ridiculously heavy knife for a folder. It weighs 7.2 ounces. This is just a number. What does it mean? Well, let me show you. Okay, so the Buck 110 plus the sheath weighs as close to the to these four knives put together. I have a Stockman, a case Stockman, two open L's, and a Barlow knife from A. Wright & Sons. Just to give you an idea. Let's give you another example. Once again, the Buck 110 plus the sheath weighs exactly the same as this fixed blade knife with an 8 inch blade. I'm showing this to help people like myself who may not get the chance to pick up and handle one of these. I'm very pleased with this Buck 110. It's a very handsome knife, but handsome is as handsome does. So let's head to the woods and field test it, okay? Okay, so I'm going to collect a few poles from my shelter. You may hear a noise in the background. That's the river, it's in flood. We've had a lot of rain lately. Pole number one.
Okay, so I've got my little frame made here. I know you can do this with a, a piece of string, but I just want to make a nice sturdy frame and it's, it's the test for the knife. My big problem down here in these woods is to find a dry spot away from uh, widowmakers. Widowmakers are large trees or branches that could fall on you. So this guy's fallen over, he can't come any further I hope. So we should be reasonably safe here in among these branches. Now I'll just get my tarp over this. So there we go, uh, a simple frame tent, inverted commas. Um, it's a nice sturdy, uh, well supported tarp anyway, and it's a cheap and simple setup for, for a bit of wild camping. And as I say, I can leave the frame here and use it uh, throughout the summer so it won't go to waste. Now we just need to get a ground cloth and some bedding in there. Okay guys, it's the next day. I got called away unexpectedly yesterday. And what a difference a day makes. Uh, today we have heavy sleet and, and hail showers. Uh, very heavy showers coming through. We are under the tarp at the moment. So what do I think of the Book 110? You have to remember, we live in a world today where many, many companies produce a great deal of crap. You get jugs that don't pour. You get teapots that dribble tea. You get potato mashers that break the first time you try to use them. And these thoughts are often in the back of my head when I, when I uh, try out new things. To be honest, I can't find fault with the Buck 110. It's a very strong, very well-made knife. I'm not going to start on about fit and finish and walk and talk and all of that because you know I'd be just waffling. I'm not really interested in it. But from what I can see, the Buck 110 is faultless. It's very well-made, it's very strong. Functionally, it's a very good slicing knife. I remember I haven't had it for a very long time. Yesterday was my first day using it. Uh, I haven't used it on game. I haven't used it long term. I don't have a very good idea about edge holding, but I was very, very pleasantly surprised with it yesterday. It's a very good slicing knife. That's what I would say. Also, the handle is extremely comfortable. Working with many other uh, pocket knives, you need to wear gloves because they can be hard on the hands. The Buck 110 is very, very comfortable. So you have a strong, very well-made knife that slices very well. This knife has obviously been made by people uh, who know how to make a knife. They're not just making sharpened pry bars. They're making a knife that will actually work and cut. Just to wrap it up, guys. In my opinion, it's a beautiful looking knife it's a very strong, well put together knife. Functionally, it's very good. It's a very good slicer and it comes with a lovely sheath. I'm very happy with this and I think it's going to be my favorite knife at the moment. Very pleased with this one. I'd highly recommend it, guys. So guys, the Book 110 from Vinny's Day Off where we do honest reviews. It's chunky and heavy, but good. I'd highly recommend it, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.